Hi, I'm Allison, a pharmacist, and today I'd like to go over how to use your naloxone product. It can be really difficult in an emergency situation to remember everything that you may have learned about naloxone. So feel free to come back to this video from time to time to review the information here so that you can always be prepared in the event that you witness an opioid overdose. So you've called 911 and grabbed your naloxone. Now what? This is intranasal naloxone in a pre-filled syringe, and it requires a nasal atomizer for administration. Each box contains one dose of naloxone, and when you open it up, it looks like this. Now the first step to assemble your dose is to remove all the colored caps. So there's two yellow caps on the syringe, and one purple cap on the drug vial. So now that all the color is gone, we can twist the drug vial onto the syringe. And the most important thing to remember at this point is not to push on the vial at all while you're twisting. This causes some of the drug to leak out of the end. So you wanna twist without pushing until you meet resistance. And then you'll take the nasal atomizer and twist it onto the other end until you meet resistance. And now your dose is ready for administration. There's two important things to remember when giving a dose of intranasal naloxone. The first thing is that we're gonna try and split the dose between both nostrils. This means you're gonna give half the dose in one nostril and half the dose in the other nostril. Now, <laughs> there is no way to accurately measure half a dose of naloxone. There's no mechanism on the device that will stop you halfway, so you're gonna have to estimate, and it's okay if it's not perfect. Just do your best to administer half the dose in one nostril, half the dose in the other nostril. The second thing to remember is to push vigorously on the drug vial when you give your dose. This allows the medication to form a fine mist that is easily absorbed in our sinuses. If you press too gently on the vial, the medication forms droplets at the syringe and it does not absorb as well in our sinuses. So push vigorously and give half the dose in one nostril, half the dose in the other nostril. Firmly place the applicator into the patient's nostril so that a seal forms, and vigorously push half the dose in one nostril and half the dose into the second nostril. And that's how you use intranasal naloxone in a pre-filled syringe. This is Narcan nasal spray. It comes in a box with two doses. You're gonna take one dose out of the box, remove it from the packaging, and the applicator goes in one nostril, and you're gonna depress the plunger with a quick, firm push. When putting in the applicator, you'll wanna form a tight seal at the patient's nose so that the medication goes up into the sinuses and does not come down the face. And then with a quick, firm push, you're going to administer the medication. There's no need to depress the other nostril. You can leave it open. And if a second dose is needed, you will apply it in the other nostril than the one that the first dose was given in. And that's how you use the Narcan nasal spray. Injectable naloxone comes in a one milliliter single dose vial, similar to this one, and it can be given intramuscularly in the patient's deltoid on their upper arm, their quadricep on the outer aspect of their thigh, or their gluteal muscle on the upper portion of their backside. To prepare a dose, we'll first remove the plastic cap from the vial and grab your needle and syringe. Now, since we're injecting this medication, we wanna try and keep the rubber cap and the tip of the needle clean, so avoid touching those as you prepare your dose. Remove the cap from your needle and insert it into the rubber stopper. Now you'll withdraw the full contents of the vial. There should be at least one milliliter of fluid and maybe slightly more due to overfill, but withdraw the full contents 
Now we'll get rid of any bubbles by sharply tapping the syringe and removing any air so that we're left with one milliliter of liquid. Now your dose is ready for administration. Today I'll demonstrate how to give a dose of injectable naloxone in a patient's deltoid muscle. When giving an intramuscular injection, you'll first remove the patient's clothing to expose the skin. Feel for the bony edge of the patient's shoulder, place two fingers beneath that, and the triangular area here is the deltoid muscle, and that's where you'll be giving the injection. If available, clean the area with an alcohol swab. Then, pinch the muscle to form a firm surface. Insert the needle at a 90 degree angle and inject the dose of medication. Remove the needle and dispose of it properly. Do not recap your needle. Now that the dose has been given, the patient should start to respond within three to five minutes. However, if they're not responding, it is safe to give a second dose of naloxone in an alternate injection site if you have another dose available. For more specific questions on how to locate an intramuscular injection site or how to choose the correct size needle, feel free to check in with your pharmacist or doctor. And that's how you give a dose of injectable naloxone. Evzio is injectable naloxone that comes in a box similar to this, and each box contains two doses of active drug and one training device. Today, I'll be using the training device to show you how it works, and I highly recommend when you get your box of Evzio to open it up, take out that trainer, and give it a try. That way you can see what it sounds like, see what it feels like, and you can always be prepared in an opioid overdose situation. So the trainer, it's a white cartridge. You remove it from the case and it starts speaking to you. This trainer contains no needle or drug. If you are ready to use, pull off red safety guard. To inject, place black end against outer thigh. Then press firmly and hold in place for five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Injection complete. And as you can see, it does a great job walking you through how to give a dose of naloxone so all the work is done for you. And that is Evzio.